Well, if you look up at the sky on Monday night, you are going to get a glimpse of something very special so long as the weather cooperates. That's right. It's called the Star of Bethlehem or the Christmas Star. But as our Steve Gargiola is about to show us, it really isn't a star at all. The night sky is a mysterious and wondrous place. There's so much about our solar system that we don't understand. Okay, let's start with the basics. The sun here is in the center of the solar system. You don't need to know all the rest of these names. There used to be nine planets that orbited the sun, but they changed that. Right now it's, it's eight planets and Pluto has been kicked out. So there's no confusion. Not this Pluto, he's still good. This Pluto is out. So we have eight planets that orbit the sun. Right now, we're interested in the two largest planets, Saturn and Jupiter, and what they will do on December 21st. From our vantage point here on Earth, they're going to look very, very close to each other in the sky. In fact, so close that if you looked at them through a pair of binoculars or a telescope, you could get them both in the same field of view. Jupiter orbits the sun every 12 years. Saturn orbits the sun every 20 years. So lining up this close to each other doesn't happen all that often. We haven't seen something like this in, in about 800 years. Now maybe you're thinking, this really will be a show if they crash into each other. It's an illusion in the sky in that they look like they're right on top of each other, but really they're, they're millions of miles apart. In fact, they're 455 million miles apart. It's significant that this is happening near Christmas because many astronomers believe a similar event may have been what the three wise men saw that led them toward Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. It could have been a supernova, a star exploding. It could have been a comet in the sky. But yeah, a, a conjunction of planets is definitely one of those possibilities of, of what the star Bethlehem could have been. For astronomers around the world, this is an exciting event. And it's gonna be just brilliant and beautiful and wonderful and something kids can tell their kids that they, that they saw in December of 2020. And, Maybe it's, it's one of those things that we can end the year on a positive note. And we could sure use something positive to end this year. I'm Steve Gargiola, Local 4. Just fascinating there. Well, to see the conjunction, look to the sky in the southwest soon after sunset.